Morning, Black Hills. My name is Mimi Herrick, and I am live from Crazy Horse, where we're talking about their Living Treasures program. I'm here with Travis, their cultural programs manager and museum director. Travis, how are you this morning? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Can you tell me a little bit about this week's Living Treasures? They are right behind us. They look gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. So these larger dolls right here are no-face dolls, and they come um, from the peoples that are east and north of us a little bit from the Woodlands region. And um, these dolls have a very long history and culture with some traditional stories related to them with some very significant teachings about humanity. Um, so visitors are not making the full no-face doll, but they are making a miniature version of it. So this is a doll made out of a um, very old wooden clothespin, and there's some hair glued to it, and the visitors will um, sew the dress and cut the fringe and then pick out a feather and a flower to attach to the dress, and they get to take this home with them so they have their own little miniature no-face doll. Well, that sounds really fun. It's really great that they get to take that home with them. Why is it important to include cultural programming like this? That's a very good question. So we get a, an, an international visitation here at the memorial, and a lot of them come to learn about the native peoples. And we do have a, a very large museum here, but that's very stagnant history. And so when we host native artists to actually teach about their culture, um, it's just invaluable for the visitor to learn more and for the artists to share their culture, practice their culture, so on and so forth. And Living Treasures is a particularly great program for that um, because when folks, um, when their hands are busy, their ears are listening. And the amount of uh, information that can be conveyed to them through the craft that they're making is just tremendous. It's, it's a valuable experience. That is really great. And you guys have a lot of um, these cultural programs happening all at once throughout the summer. And can you tell me a little bit about the ones that are happening right now. Yeah, we always have uh, performances happening. So we'll have uh, five performances per day. Um, there's more of a calendar on the website. We also have an artist in residence. We're in the cultural center right now. So the Living Treasures program is up here, uh, back here. This goes until Saturday. And then we have the artist in residence back here. She'll be uh, here all month. Um, but we always have something fun going on. And all of these programs are included with admission to the memorial. So you can pay to get a carload of your family in, and then uh, you can make um, a bunch of no-face dolls, little clothespin no-face dolls for no extra cost. Okay, and then could you tell me just what the artist in residence is doing right now? Yeah, so our artist in residence, she just got here. She's going to be here for the rest of September. Her name is Karen Ann Hoffman, and she's from Wisconsin, and she does a, a, an artwork called Raised Beadwork, Haudenosaunee Raised Beadwork, which is a pretty rare, rare and intensive art form. It takes a lot of time and practice, um, and she brought some amazing pieces with her, and it's it's not like a beadwork that you would see around here in the Black Hills region. It's, it's quite a bit different and um, she's just a fantastic person too so it's always great to come up and chat with her okay awesome that sounds fabulous thank you so much for being here my name is Mimi Herrick and I am live from Crazy Horse back to you in the studio